It's an exploration of body responses to personal grief um, using felt, hand moulded felt and paper life casts. This exhibition is dedicated to my father, Tony Johnson, and he died of cancer about two years ago and this started my journey of exploration. Realising that I have nothing left to lose in my actions, I let my mouth become a sword, my backbone become a sword, I feel prepared for the rest of my life. This is the inscription on the bottom of this piece. <clears throat> it's hand moulded in merino and Romney felt and it has a sword in the backbone. The sword to me is a symbol of um, speaking for one's own truth, um, for cutting through all the um, lies and deception that we hear about life and about grief and getting right down to the truth of it all. Uh, the white light around the sword is a protective light to me and the colours are also symbolic to me. Uh, rust, the colour rust enveloping the whole piece is to me a symbol of the integrity of love and the sword is um, an instrument of sharing that love and speaking for that love. The body holds close to the eternal solid. The spirit longs to dance with him in the light. This piece is about the um, moment in grief where you feel stretched between being mortal and wanting to be in the spirit world with the person that's died. And the life cast is a paper life cast of me. And the, the body reaching up to the sky is a piece in felt and silk. I am enclosed in a buffer zone. Nothing penetrates the batting, so insulated is this silence lulling its sound. With sealed eyes, I surrender to its gentle vibrations. Eager to be swallowed, I lie quietly listening to the muted sounds. In time, I will return renewed. <clears throat> this piece is about um, the moment in grief where you feel quite insular and uh, you feel like you want to create a white light around yourself, a protective light a cocoon to give you breathing space. This piece is um, made of a bamboo frame and a lot of fine cobweb felt with silk and mohair inlays. The body inside is cast from life from my sister in eight different moulds and it is cast in paper. I really um, love how they move separately, these pieces. And they move according to the movement of the persons around the outside of the sculpture. There is a roar in our ears, immersed in the deep, dragging this heavy body through the mud. Um, this piece is uh, speaking about the staging grief uh, where you feel totally overwhelmed and dragging yourself along through life. Um, this is a, a paper moulded shell with um, wool and found shells inlaid and there's two faces embedded in the shell the male and female parts of ourselves and they're casting paper from life casts tears are a river that takes you somewhere weeping creates a river around the boat that carries your soul life tears lift your boat off the rocks off dry ground carrying it down river to some place new, some place better. Um, this piece um, 
for me personally is the final piece in the exhibition and it was the last one that I made in this series. Um, the wheels are from a billy cart from my childhood and the boat is made in felt and the paper life cast is of me and um, it's cast from a plaster mould from my body. <coughs> um, the dragonflies are, for me are a, a symbol of um, changing direction in life um, very quickly <laughs> and, and with a moment's notice and for me the boat is also a symbol of um, flowing along the river of life but not just floating wherever it goes. My boat is moving with momentum because it has wheels. Um, the symbols on the ends of the curls of the boat is a symbol of the dragon's eye which is a, an ancient um, protective symbol against evil spirits. Uh, and the, again the colours are very symbolic. Um, purple is obviously a spiritual colour for me. And the rust, again, is the integrity of love.